Okay guys, this is video number 11 in my series Recognizing Patterns for Success or Failure. And I think you can guess the map that we're on. I'll pull back a little bit here. And I'm going to show you the vehicles and you might be able to guess as well what might be about to happen here. So here are the vehicles. We are at Malinovka. It's a standard battle and what I'm about to show you ought not to be a part of the game. It's unfair to the enemy team and uh, the longer this sort of thing goes on I think it's bad for World of Tanks especially since Malinovka is, is so often used as a map. Now you can see the enemy team has no scout so it's even more unfair. They don't have a vehicle that can light us up but on the other hand our team has me and my A20 and as you all know I've got the paint, I've got all four crew members have the camo skill completed. AJ Gonzo is an, is in an E25 which is a really fast vehicle with extreme camo values so you can guess what we were talking about here so I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to hit the space bar and I'm going to reduce the clutter here and another factor to consider is that there are no tier 8's in this battle so the view range across the field for those vehicles is shortened a little bit which reduces the likelihood that AJ Gonzo and me will be spotted. Now he's rushing across the field to a bush and he will just sit there and not move. I will do loops and you know the massacre begins. I don't remember how many loops I made here but uh, I always retreat below the horizon. That's a scouting tip for you guys when you when you run away in the field you go back below the horizon and then resume spotting at the horizon level. So as you can see we've we've gotten quite a bit of damage on the first pass and I'm going to go back for more. Um, press the advantage. And back below the horizon. Uh, the ground here is a little bit squishy, so even though I have off-road driving, I do. You see, I'm not building up uh, proper speed there, but it is uh, relatively safe. So, and here I go again, pass number three. Or hey, oh, I'm so confident here. I'm just driving around in the open, um, and they've been hammered over there, and they're probably wondering what's going on. And as you can see, AJ Gonzo has not been seen. If they had had a little scout tank that uh, moved roughly to uh, even, you know, within 50 meters of AJ over there uh, on the right-hand side of the map, he would have been spotted and they potentially would have killed him. But uh, we took a chance there and it's worked out beautifully. Now, there's no guarantee that their scout will act properly, but they didn't even have that chance offered to them. So they were helpless and unable to respond and uh, the sooner this nonsense is removed from World of Tanks the better. So as you, another aspect of this game you can tell people aren't taking it seriously because they've barely left the base. They're just harvesting the damage. Uh, you know it's like picking cherries or shooting fish in a barrel. Uh, you can pick whatever more metaphor you prefer. And they're not even leaving the the flag area. Ordinarily, that you know, this would not be a good idea. But it's it's so one-sided that uh, people are just uh, it's a free for all. And there, are you serious? Well, you're absolutely right, so there, my friend. So I'm going to advance the action here. As you can see, AJ is, and I tell him, you know. We planned it. Yeah, absolutely true. AJ is still unaffected by the storm of fire uh, going past his vehicle. And I've used this little route many times to get closer to them. And if you have backup, it works great. And as you can see, I've got the most backup any scout ever had over here. I don't know who saw me there. It could have been a proximity light. 
And if you don't know what that is, a proximity light means that your crew heard the engine of the enemy vehicle, even though you didn't see the tank. They got good hearing. So, oh, there's a guy called Cannabis Tank in a T-29. I bet you he has an interesting story to tell. And it's pretty much time here for AJ to get on the move. There's no need for him to sit still any longer. And I think there he's starting to move now. And, I mean, look at this. The T-29 calls shenanigans. Well, I sort of agree with them. But on the other hand, he has reached the Tier 7 level in World of Tanks. As, as you read the comments here, you will realize that he doesn't understand battle mechanics. Um, he's not able to analyze the situation. But on the other hand, as I said at the beginning, uh, the sooner they get rid of this, the better. And, you know, if they don't want to change the map, probably the best way is just to spawn the vehicles much further away so that they're beyond the draw range and the scout cannot uh, do this to the enemy team. So uh, if, if this, with the exact same lineup, if uh, those vehicles have been much further back, say behind this lake or something, and our spawn was uh, back by the other lake, say at B1, and they were at uh, J0, then it's a completely different situation. They have an opportunity to move around, take cover, get their wits about them, and uh, you know possibly avoid this massacre. In fact, likely avoid the massacre. Uh, and unfortunately, World of Tanks, you know, it's a mystery to me why they haven't altered this because it, it's uh, it's a shame and it, it's not good for the reputation of the game to have this kind of baloney uh, still part of it after so many months and months, even years, this has been going on. Anyways, oh, there's an interesting collision here, if I remember right. Boom. And I have to back off to kill the little fella. There we are. Game over.